Now we're going to look at a couple of logic gates that we have. Um, so this is an OR gate um, that can simulate OR Boolean logic first. And we have an AND gate over here. And basically we know from logic that an OR gate needs, if we've got two inputs coming in, um, so these are two signal lines coming in for top and bottom, um, and this is an output. In order to get an output, we need either one or the other one from our inputs to be high. So either the top to get a signal or the bottom. So one or the other. Or indeed both can be on and we will get an output. For an AND gate, and there's the symbol there, we need both inputs um, to be on or to be high in order to get an output. So let's just see that in, in, um, in real time. We're going to activate this single acting cylinder up top. And we've just got two inputs. So we have a key switch and a push button. 3, 2, valve. Because um, we just need one output from the DC valve. And we're providing, taking one output from each of those DC valves into our OR gate and seeing what happens. So we'll turn on our air supply. So I've turned on my switch. That will be one input in. And you'll see that will extend. If I activate the switch here as well, it will stay activate, activate. You'll see if none of them are activated, we will get no um, output on our cylinder. And if the other switch is activated, we will get an output on our cylinder. So let's compare that now to an OR gate. If we swap over the inputs here, You'll just see I'll take this new output coming from the OR gate, pop that in, and then we will take lead number two, take that over, and again port coming out, lead number two from port number two, because that is one of our outputs, and we'll put this over here. So we'll turn back on our air supply. And you see now if I activate my key switch, nothing will happen on the cylinder. It will wait until it gets the second input to activate. And then if I release one of those, the cylinder retracts. It no longer has two high signals coming in. So a quick video on logic gates there with our pneumatic components.